para Arbel po. Um, this week, holy week na po tayo. At uh, kahapon, nag ano kami, meron kaming stations of the cross na yung mga bata ang nag-perform live po yung stations of the cross namin. Although they're just acting. Um, maganda po yung contribution ng mga bata sa celebration namin yung last uh, stations of the cross po namin sa Linton season at uh, maganda po yung performance ng mga bata they were serious about it saka yung preparation nila yung costume nila napakaganda po makikita po ninyo makikita ninyo sa itaas yung mga bata na sila yung mga bata namin sa catechism class actually and this is part of their project contribution nila sa community and uh, salamat po kay Dr. Steve Brads, uh, Mr. Bertotti tsaka kay Mr. Rich Rizzo na siya naganda sa mga bata na magperform sa uh, Stations of the Cross today mag uh, mimisa po ako ng uh, Palm Sunday uh, it's still Saturday pero yung uh, vigil mass namin sa Palm Sunday meron po akong misa tatlo today sa 3 o'clock sa Herlong tsaka 5.30 dito sa Susanville at tsaka 7 o'clock yung Spanish mass ko po meron din akong mga parishioners ng mga Spanish dito sa Susanville. Itong uh, Palm Sunday is very significant. Kung pupunta po kayo doon sa Hulilan, makikita po ninyo na yung mga tanim doon, wala naman silang mga tropical fruits, pero meron sila mga dates or yung palm trees nila. Napakalaki. Tsaka magandang tingnan. Yung pinaka the best na dates po sa buong mundo makikita natin doon sa Holy Land or sa Israel. Kasi yung klima po is talaga ang po para sa mga palms. So, nung unang panahon pa, itong palms is very important sa mga tao during biblical times. They always uh, see that, I mean, yung yung they always saw this palm as kingly tree because of its height kasi doon naman yung uh, palms naman parang siya yung pinakamakataas pinakamataas na tanim na makikita mo sa disyerto so they always see it as a kingly tree because of its majestic appearance and also of its uh, kingly height and they always carried palms, uh, branches in procession, especially nung panahon ng mga Roman soldiers. They always uh, greeted them with palms. They always waved the palms as they arrive or when they have victory parades or public games. So yung mga contestants nila, ang ibinibigay nila as trophy is also palm branches as a sign of uh, victory so it's always uh, joyful so um, yung palms it's always received for yung mga winners yung victorious kings and armies it's always triumphant when Kung makikita nila na parating na yung king or yung mga sundao na nanalo sa digmaan, ito yung mga wini-wave-wave nila. So it's always been a triumph, uh, a spirit of joy and triumph that is only reserved para sa mga mga manderigma at saka sa mga king. So, itong Palm Sunday natin is also parang victorious welcome Jesus as King. The ultimate uh, victory of Jesus uh, finally was this greatest event sa uh, history natin as a Catholic. Yung uh, resurrection of Christ.
Christ. And uh, it is different from the kings, previous kings and Roman wars because this uh, victory of Christ is won through suffering and his death. So iba siya, no? Yung iba, uh, yung palms as a sign of joy and triumphant entry because they won, they live, and they won over sa mga digmaan. Pero itong sa ating Panginoon po, it's about suffering and His death to save us from our sins. So iba yung meaning ng ating Palm Sunday doon sa uh, during sa time sa Roman Empire. So makikita natin the, the ultimate victory of Jesus was His uh, Easter triumph over death and sin. Sa iba, kala nila itong um, yung pagkamatay ni Jesus is uh, defeat but for us Catholics it's always uh, victory so it's so a Holy Thursday and then Good Friday uh, we have this triumphant story of our Lord's uh, coming to become one of us suffer uh, crucified died but the ultimate victory was the resurrection so holy week is very important i hope na marami na sa inyo ang nag uh, sa confession because this is the very good a very good preparation for us uh, para i uh, receive natin si Christ sa uh, Easter na uh, we are in the state of grace so I hope na marami sa atin nakapag-confess na nagpunta na sa simbahan at nag-confess sa kanilang mga kasalanan uh, we still have time and even if we fail to uh, do confession because of pandemic walang available or it's so hard to find or to go uh, hopefully someday nasa isip natin na pupunta tayo sa confessional kasi importante po ang pagpunta ng uh, pag, pag confess sa ating mga kasalanan it's a good preparation for receiving Christ on Easter uh, we are in the state of grace when we receive Him on Easter Sunday so yun lang po maraming salamat sa pagkikinig para para Arbel pa